Hi guys, as announced, I'm gonna deal with a completely new subject this time, the Russian armored vehicle Gas Tiger by Mank. Before I move on to unboxing, a few words about this, how it's been described sometimes Russian Humvee. The production of Gas Tiger vehicles was initiated by the cooperation of the Bin Jar Group from the United Arab Emirates with the Russian gas company. The goal was to construct a lightweight multi-purpose vehicle with high mobility. Three prototypes in different versions were built and presented at the IDEX exhibition in 2001 in the United Arab Emirates. Later, the relationship between the two partners suddenly broke off. Despite the failure in foreign cooperation, GAS decided to further develop the vehicle itself. In 2002, Russian prototypes were presented, the armored version GAS-29751 and unarmored GAS-233001. On June 2006, SPM, which means Specialnaya Polizeiska Maschina, it's a special police vehicle, and SPM-2 armored cars were adapted to equip the structures of the Ministry of Internal Affairs of the Russian Federation and their production began. After the state trials were completed and the design was refined, on March 2007 the STS, the Special Transport Vehicle GAS-233014, was adopted by the Russian Armed Forces. In 2010 a new version of Gas Tiger M was developed, powered by the Russian 215 horsepower engine instead of Western Cummins about 205 horsepower. Larger engine dimensions forced the bonnet to be raised in the middle. In 2013, an armed variant with a remotely controlled Arbalet DM stand was presented, armed with one of the weapons, 12.7mm gun, 7.62mm, 13 or 40mm automatic grenade launcher, introduced into service in 2016. The body is made entirely of metal and is equipped with a compartment designed to carry 1500kg of cargo and a 4-person crew. The three-door version of the car can carry 6 to 9 people and 1200 kg of cargo for the police and military version. The load compartment is also equipped with seats that can accommodate 2 to 4 people. The basic version of the car was equipped with a steering wheel with hydraulic assistance, torsion bars with hydraulic stabilization, central pumping system, engine heater and tuck. The air conditioning, audio system and ABS are available as additional equipment. The armor of the vehicle body was made of special armor steel, 5-7mm to 7 mm thick. The armored variant of the car is about 700kg heavier than the basic version. Currently, the family of light 4 and 4 vehicles based on the Gas Tiger platform includes more than 20 specialized versions ordered by almost all power departments in Russia, the Armed Forces, the Ministry of the Interior and the FSB. It's not only one of the basic light transport and patrol platforms, but also a base for many special light vehicles from anti-tank launchers, to electronic warfare systems, to vehicles for special police units. Let's move on to the main part. GAS-233014 STS Tiger, in 35 scale from MEC. Nice graphics and a short description on the front of the box, saying that the interior of the vehicle is very nicely reproduced, all doors can be mounted in the open and or closed position, has a rotating stand on the roof, Transparent parts included and decals to cover the entire interior of the vehicle. What you can feel right away is the quality of the box. Of course this is not the most important thing, but the packaging is very pleasant to the touch and gives a preview of a high quality model. We will see if it's really so. Here is a reference to AK interactive paints specially produced for MAG. We also see the three color camouflage pattern of the North Caucasian military district. On the other side, the painting from the Victory Day Parade in 2011 and a brief vehicle description. So let's take a look inside. The box is large but full of moldings. There are a lot of them. The main elements, chassis part and let's say the vehicle body are packed separately. In my opinion, plastic is a very good quality, the floor is nicely reproduced, the anti-slip areas are clearly visible. The vehicle body also looks ok. I like its line, a bit edgy as befits a military vehicle, but still with interesting accents.
molding containing small parts of the model. There is nothing to complain about here. We also have rubber bushings, probably for mounting the wheels. Another molding containing drive shaft or suspension. Very nicely cast elements, if I'm not mistaken it's the middle panel with the gearbox. The dashboard also detailed. Moreover doors and windows as you can see wipers are already installed. Other elements, uh, armaments, roof hatch, as well as elements of equipment, an axe, a saw or a spade. Interestingly made internal lining of the roof hatch. We also have a towing rope and a stand with ammunition. Transparent parts, lamps, windows, very nicely protected. Vehicle frame from which we will probably start the assembly. Tires very nicely made with lots of details, looking really great. The set also includes a plate that is probably a grill and add decals. Most of it is actually camouflage of the vehicle interior. Painting plants with detailed paint scheme. As you already know me a bit, you probably guess which painting pattern I will choose. Caucasian, of course. <laughs> Manual, quite thick book, however, seems very legible and clear, which in my case will probably be a big plus. This is my first military vehicle, so I hope that Mank will lead me nicely by the hand here. So this is what the model looks like before assembly, I hope that I will be also happy with it after. Initially I'm planning to have a diorama for this one, but I must find a driver's figure. I found a soldier that would fit the roof hatch, but I can't find a 135 scale Russian driver, of course from the present days. If you have any places where I could look for one, please let me know in the comment. A vehicle without a driver will not look very convincing. Anyway, these are just plans, we will see what comes out. For now, keep your fingers crossed and see you soon guys. Bye!